What's the right time to change patterns? What's the right time to do something different, to leave an area? An hour rule is what I use, right? An hour, it's a long time. So the next zone I'm gonna to go to is what? The middle. The middle, right? Fish that are suspended. They could suspend in the middle of nowhere in deep water. They could suspend next to a piece of cover. For whatever reason, when fish suspend, they're tougher fish to catch. But I got one bait that I love to throw that's an old school forgotten about bait that is the absolute best finesse bait to catch them. And this is a modern version of a bait that's been out forever. One of the oldest baits you could fish for suspended fish. It's a grub, right? How many of you fished a grub before? Raise your hand. Man, it's awesome. It's such an old school bait. And if you look at it, what a grub really is in modern day terms is a finesse swim bait, right? That's really all it is. But this time, we're gonna do something different with the retrieve. They don't wanna eat, we can't make them react. So now we're gonna take the opposite approach with a grub and we're gonna make it look like such an easy meal and so natural that they've got to eat it. All right, you ready? Now go back to where you were, but now this time do it real slow. That same swag that I told you before. That's it. That's it. The bait fish, or the small boy with the mohawk, he wasn't threatened. But man, that looked natural. He's such a bad little minnow that he's not worried about that bass in there. Isn't that a target too? And that bass is sitting there suspended. He doesn't want to react. He doesn't want to come up. And he thinks, that's got to be the stupidest bait fish I ever saw in my life. I'm going to eat that bait fish. And that's what we want to do with the grub, right? So now let's look at this grub in the water. And this is a really easy bait to fish. All we want to do is keep it in the level of the fish. So we're going to fish that middle zone. I'm going to cast it out. I'm going to reel it slow to a moderate retrieve. And every once in a while, I'll stop it or just throw a little kick into it. Key here on this retrieve is watch how natural and subtle that little grub tail moves. Watch this. Oh my gosh, what just happened right there? Oh my gosh, look at that. And so there, there's a fish that was in that middle water column that wasn't attracted to that bait because it was distressed, but it was attracted to that grub because it looked so natural and it looked like such an easy meal that he had to get it. I love you. I love you. I didn't, know, I didn't know what to do with him. I don't want to kiss him. Dr. Giggles does that. I'm not going to do that. Finally, we're in our last zone, which is the bottom. So now we're going to pick a finesse bait that we can fish that bottom zone. It's that thing right there. Who knows what that thing is right there? Shaky head. Shaky head. How many people fish a shaky head worm? Raise your hand. Man, it's an awesome bait. It's an awesome bait. I've done this seminar 8,752 times. I never get tired of talking about it. A shaky worm is basically a jig worm. But without a doubt, this is one of the best baits, finesse baits, that we can fish on the bottom. And the main reason is, is the way this thing's going to sit on the bottom, right? So what is a bass eat that lives on the bottom? What's one thing, a bass eats that lives on the bottom? Crawfish, absolutely, that's a big one, a crawfish. Crayfish, you say crayfish, he says crawfish, I say potato, you say potato. This is a jig head that's got an offset hook built into it. And this is a jig head that I designed for VMC and it's called a rugby head. And we call it a rugby head because it's a cross between a traditional ball head and a football head jig. The most important thing about that VMC rugby head is the offset hook, is the offset hook. Are you recording this? <laughs> Hi, Mom. And because of that offset hook, it's going to let me take this shaky head and rig it Texas style. I want you to pick a worm that has two key features to it when you're shaky head fishing. I want you to pick a worm that has a straight tail, right? No action to the tail, just a straight bulbous tail. And more importantly, pick a straight tail worm that has a flat side. And that's gonna help us as we fish this bait. First thing I like to do is I like to make it a little bit shorter. 
So most of these worms are a six or seven inch worm. And I'll take about an eighth of an inch of it, a little more, and I'll just bite it off. Not only to make it a little shorter and a little bit more of a finesse presentation, but when I bite that thing down, I've created a flat spot. And all that's going to do is when I Texas rig this on this jig head, it's going to seat to that head better. You know what I mean? It's going to seat to the top of that head. As you're Texas rigging it, the main thing to remember is you want the flat side on the bottom, OK? So go, go around that loop and then do our normal Texas rig. And there it goes. And this bait does something special that a jig or a Texas rig worm or whatever is not going to do. So now you're going to be a crawfish, OK? I want you to kind of just get down like this. That's it. And I want you to move forward. Ah, move forward about three or four feet. That's it. Just kind of hop along, hop along, hop along. OK, now stop. Now when you stop, now go like this. OK. Now do it and do it backwards. That's what a crawfish does, right? Did you ever see a crawfish? That's how it moves. It moves around. It, it moves backwards. It scoots around. And when it stops, it doesn't lay flat on the bottom. It doesn't disappear on the bottom. It doesn't do that. But it does what? It does that, right? It stands up. Those arms are up. Those claws are up. For those fish now that are living on the bottom, we want to imitate that natural crawfish. I want to cast it out, and I want to, I want to drag it along like a crawfish. But then when I feel something, if I feel that boulder, or I feel that stump or something like a little rock, that's when I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to shake it. And that's imitating the, that crawfish arm sticking up. So let's watch it, OK? So we make that cast. You will occasionally get bit on the fall, like what just happened, right? But, but let's watch this thing on the bottom. Look how that thing, well, the problem is we've got one. So OK, let's try to make another cast and not get a bite. So that thing falls. As it's fallen, because that flat side's on the bottom of that worm, <laughs> it's, it's gliding around. But once it gets on the bottom, look at the way that worm's, I mean, they're eating it. Yeah. Yeah. Can somebody make it this easy at the Classic this year? Please. So it happened real quick. And, and, and it was too quick probably for you to see. But what happened there is there was that worm. And instead of laying on the bottom and just disappearing, because of the shape of that VMC rugby head and because of that flat tail worm sitting up, that was calling out to that fish. That tail, that shaky head was like, come eat me, come eat me. And this fish that was living on the bottom, boom, pounced down and, and ate that worm. When you go fishing, fish from the top to the bottom, the top, the middle, the bottom, and let the fish tell you what to do. Fish the moment. Let the fish tell you. There's no luck in fishing. I promise you. Oof! Oof! Oof!